Cheers. Hello, friends, and welcome to Virtual Happy Hour. This evening, we are making a Singapore sling. This is a very old cocktail. Uh, it was invented at the turn of the century at the Long Bar in the Raffles Hotel in Singapore. It first uh, appeared in print in the Savoy Cocktail Book in 1930. And one of the great things about this drink is that pretty much no two specs are the same. So the recipe changes from bartender for, to bartender. More modern iterations of the Singapore sling became increasingly sweet, less of a focus on fresh fruit juices, more of a dependency on grenadine, which created this sort of saccharine and muddled flavor. We are going back to something that is more similar to the original recipe, but no one actually knows what the original recipe was, but we're going to be using fresh pineapple juice. I'm actually using pineapple puree because I had some fresh pineapple, but I didn't have any pineapple juice. Lime juice, we're using uh, cherry liqueur. I'm using Luxardo maraschino cherry liqueur. We need an herbal liqueur, and for that I'm using Benedictine, but you could use pretty much whatever you have that's uh, herbal. You could use chinar, or you could use chartreuse. You could use anything that has a big herbal flavor. Um, you could even use like an Amaro, like Amaro Averna might be interesting. Probably not for net, that might be a little bit overwhelming, although we're only using a quarter of an ounce, so you could try it. And then we're using Grand Marnier, which is an orange liqueur. So use whatever orange liqueur that you have, whether that's Cointreau or Triple Sec or Orange Curacao or Grand Marnier. I'm gonna use one dash of bitters, I'm gonna top it off with some soda water, and of course we need gin, which is in my freezer. Almost forgot the star of the show, my friends. And then for garnish, I'm doing a cherry and dried pineapple. So there's a lot on the go here. I know this is becoming a little bit more complex. There are only so many three ingredient cocktails and I don't necessarily have all the ingredients to make them myself, but this continues to be my show. So I set the rules. But if you do have requests, don't hesitate to reach out. In terms of tools, we're using our shaker tin and glassware. We're using a highball glass or Collins glass today. So we're gonna start off with three quarters of an ounce of gin. And then we're gonna do a quarter ounce of each of the other liqueurs that I just walked you through. So we'll do a quarter ounce of Grand Marnier. Whoa was more than I needed, slightly. A quarter of an ounce of Luxardo Maraschino Cherry Liqueur. Three quarters of an ounce of your herbal liqueur. Again, I'm using Benedictine. Great herbaceous nose on that. Now we're gonna do half an ounce of lime juice. See, I squeezed all my citrus into these little jars to make my life easier, but it has left me without garnish. And now we're gonna do a full ounce of pineapple juice, or in my case, I, as I said, I am using pineapple puree, which I'm concerned is gonna go everywhere. So this is gonna make it quite a bit thicker in terms of the texture of the drink, but I think the flavor is going to be great because that is fresh pineapple. And then just our one dash, I'm using cardamom bitters just because I thought that would be a really nice complement to all of the citrus and tropical fruit flavors we have going on here. I'm gonna add some ice to the shaker and then give this a nice firm shake. Nice and frosty. I'm gonna add some ice to my highball glass here. No, you're not supposed to add ice to your drinks with your hands, but I'm only serving myself, so 
to get out an ice bucket or, you know, tongs or something seemed a little bit aggressive. Beautiful color. I know there's more in there. Work with me. And then we're gonna top it off with a bit of our soda water here. Add some more ice. This didn't work at all. There we go. Gotta get aggressive. Still need a little bit more soda water. to top it up and then I'm going to add a straw and just give it a little bit of a stir and then I'm going to add as I said my dried pineapple for garnish and then I'm going to skewer a maraschino cherry and my little Scimitar. And there we have our Singapore sling. Mm, that is very good. So as I was saying, more recent variations of this drink are much sweeter, but here I focused on getting that true flavor profile that we're looking for in this drink, which should be strong, it should be herbaceous, and it should be punchy. So. This is what we have here. I hope you've enjoyed this classic gym cocktail with me today. And I'll see you tomorrow when we'll be making a Mai Tai. And I am gonna share some details on how to make your own orjat um, and provide you with some direction in case you, you wanted to participate in making that classic tiki cocktail. Cheers, friends.